A survey done in 2016 shows Asian Americans make up only 2% of America's college and university presidents. That same year, the University of Missouri made history and hired its first Asian American president, Dr. Moon Choi. Continuing my series on Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, I sat down with system president and chancellor Choi. He told me more about how his upbringing inspired him to be an educator. A familiar face around the University of Missouri, whether it's speaking to the student body, talking with lawmakers at the state capitol. Uh, three to four students who did not answer in the negative to the question. Or on Faroe Field for a little cardio. Moon Choi, president of the university system and chancellor of the Columbia campus, loves what he does. What makes you most proud? Helping people, helping students, helping our students succeed. While getting to know President Choi, he gives credit to his parents as a reason he is where he is now. Both were born in the late 1930s when Korea was one country under Japanese control. Choi's parents didn't have much growing up. His mother would eventually land a scholarship with the nursing program hosted by a Mennonite missionary. Choi's mother met Elizabeth Klippenstein through the program. The small and large acts of kindness that she shared with my mother and my mother's friends during my mother's uh, teenage years in Korea really resonated with me. July 4th, 1973, the American dream started. Choi was nine years old when his family moved to Akron, Ohio. Fast forward to post-college, education was still his passion. Choi would find himself at the University of Illinois, Chicago, Drexel, University of Connecticut, in leadership roles. Choi was named the 24th president of the University of Missouri system and also the first time an Asian American held the position. And I do hear from some students that say that it's great to see an Asian American as a, as a role model. Since he's had this position, this year, Mizzou was the site of a satellite polling location for the upcoming South Korean presidential election. Sang Kim, director of Asian Affairs at MU, said several factors went into Colombia being chosen, but he does point out President Choi's connections. Uh, the Korean consulate in Chicago, uh, they know uh, President Choi very well. Former Consul General uh, visited MU campus a few times and met with the President Choi. Kim has been running the Asian Affairs Center since 2004 and said it's been helpful having Asian American leadership and representation at the university level. I think we get a lot more uh, recognition uh, in the community and also from uh, Korean and other Asian partners. Uh, they say, wow, you have an um, Asian American president. Uh, that's, uh, that's not so common. Uh, and uh, they, they are pleasantly surprised and um, share the pride. And having that recognition can attract more international students, which can benefit everybody. All the citizens here have an opportunity to uh, realize uh, that the world is here instead of, uh, you know, just uh, without traveling uh, to uh, different uh, cultures and countries. Uh, they can start the process of learning uh, international cultures. When asked about his legacy, he told me he always thinks of one person. And in my own way, I want to be able to replicate what Mrs. Klippenstein did to be able to pay it forward like she did. Sang Kim told me Missouri is quite well known in South Korea, and it started back nearly 70 years ago. At the end of Harry Truman's presidency in 1953, he asked MU administrators to waive tuition for South Korean students. At the time, the South Korean government handpicked the top students to study abroad, which really then led to a legacy of children and grandchildren coming to Mizzou. Mizzou's alumni base in South Korea is its largest among foreign countries. There are currently 160 students and visiting scholars at MU. Next week, I will be talking with a Korean restaurant owner in Colombia and how he's able to share the culture and heritage through food.